Hello everyone. I'm doing this little vid video today um, because I wanted to point out a couple things that uh, my dear uh, brother and mentor, um, I should say elder Justin Hughes, um, a, a slight mistake that he made on his videos from a link that he was sent by a brother of mine that I also know. And that is about the Presbyterian Church of America, as Justin said on one of his live, um, uh, Lucas Labrador live um, meetings we have on the Internet, uh, was allowing homosexuals and, or was promoting homosexuals and women ministers and that that type of thing. And if you live here in the United States and if you are a Presbyterian or have been a Presbyterian like I have, um, I was with the Presbyterian Church of America and the PCA, the Presbyterian Church of America is broke off from the Presbyterian Church USA, which is the liberal interpretation of scriptures, the, uh, that promote ungodliness such as uh, the ordination of women homosexuals, which goes, of course, against the scripture. The Presbyterian Church of America does try to follow the scriptures um, in their doctrinal um, teachings. Now, there is a difference uh, in biblical teachings between the USA Church and the PCA Church. And that's why I was making this little video today as a rebuttal uh, to a couple of videos that uh, Justin uh, uses uh, put forth. Um, I'm not trying to attack the brother, but I'm trying to set the record straight here. Um, he was informed by Brother Rick. I was sent a link, uh, a link by Brother Rick that said it was the Presbyterian Church in America, but people don't realize that there are, there have been numerous divisions and numerous splits within the Presbyterian Church of America. The PCA Church is the conservative Presbyterian Church. The USA Church is the liberal one, which has been in the news lately. Um, now, only at one level is this important because for an actual Christian, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, we know him in spirit and in truth. We humble ourselves and we are taught all things through the Holy Spirit um, as we follow the Lord. That is the truth. Um, if you do a systematic theology, although be it uh, the Presbyterian Church of America is a lot closer to the truth, it doesn't necessarily mean that those members have the Holy Spirit of God just because they're taught proper doctrines. No, salvation is of grace and grace alone uh, of God. He decides to do a work in whom he will and gives them unto the Lord Jesus that all the Father gives me will come to me. Um, and that's the important part. Also, I have found in my Christian life that uh, the tulip doctrine that the PCA teaches, uh, the last part of tulip, um, which is the perseverance of the saints, which, which basically teaches that God is sovereign and that he will bring home people who have started with him. And they use verses to support, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Nobody can snatch them out of my hands. Uh, in that, do in that latter part of that doctrine to, um, promote that, uh, you can't be lost, that you will enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, that's just not true. That's just not true because, um, the fact of the matter is, that Jesus said to his disciples to follow him, to follow him. He talked about the narrow way as opposed to the broad road. And these are talking about spiritual things. 
uh, within the hearts of men. To their own master they stand or fall. And if you follow Christ, if you, you know, have committed, believe, accept, and commit to following the Lord Jesus Christ, like in the sowers and the seeds, the good seed, the good plant that bears good fruit will indeed enter in. But the, the part that doctrinally is missed or not understood by people that don't follow the Holy Spirit of God, but rather follow intellectual teachings, is that um, it's a matter of heart. If we start with the Lord Jesus Christ and salvation, we must continue to follow him. That's why Paul talked about running the good race, not being a castaway. Uh, uh, the, the lot of seeing church, he, he, he addressed, he, you know, the apostle Paul addressed a lot of churches that were spiritually getting off track. Uh, you'll know that verse in the scriptures that says you observe times and seasons and, uh, that, that type of thing. Well, this is all man's intellectual or theological doctrinal understanding that he was addressing. You don't know the Lord Jesus Christ by having even proper Bible doctrine. You know the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth if you are indeed his and if you have um, committed to follow him. Now, for me personally, the Lord told me after my near-death experience, I don't want to get too much into this, but because it is a personal thing for me, he told me, Roland, follow me, follow me. I was trying to get into the leadership of the PCA church and did, in fact, did. And I was trying for elder, and they said, Roland, what are you trying for elder? And I was shocked because um, they... Um, they marginalized me, and and although I had uh, I had performed better than anybody else in that classroom, in that uh, leadership classroom, uh, and I'm not saying that to brag because I was born with severe dyslexia and I, I had learned disabilities all my life. But the Lord Jesus Christ is Spirit, and the Holy Spirit can quicken the truth of God to you. I did have six years under a man that spent 22 years in seminary, DD, THD, PhD, and I learned through him. That's why I was able and equipped, because God equipped me to be able to pass that course with flying colors. But spiritually, they did not want me around, because spiritually, they were of the church spirit, the spirit of error. And the spirit of error is not a doctrinal spirit of error. It's not an intellectual or a, um, his, you know, it's not, a spirit of error is not saying things incorrectly historically or incorrectly biblically. The spirit of error is not following the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ and working in independence, although be it through the Bible. You have to be dependent upon the Lord when you read the scriptures. And the scriptures is secondary to following the Lord Jesus Christ. The, if you have the Holy Spirit and if you follow the Holy Spirit of God, when you read the scriptures, God will quicken the truth to you. And the whole Bible does not uh, disagree, but rather the whole of the scriptures agrees. And this is why... Uh, I'm making the reference to the TULIP doctrine that the PCA practices, although it is nearly right and um, probably has some of the best Bible teaching around. Uh, you still have a free will to not follow the Father. Jesus Christ was tempted himself to not follow the Father. And the church religion, the Visible church, shall, shall, shall we say, is um, a counterfeit to actually follow Jesus Christ in spirit. And people, because Satan's very smart, you, you know, you read things like, uh, I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Episcopal Church says that. The Presbyterian Church says that. The Methodist Church says that. Um, 
And you know what? Satan believes in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So my point being is just because you believe the Bible uh, doctrinally, when you have good, which simply means teaching, uh, just because you believe that intellectually does not necessarily mean that you're going to enter in or that you know the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus says many will come to me on that day. And I'll, I will say, and they'll say, Lord, Lord, didn't we um, prophesy? Didn't we do healings? Didn't we do all the wonderful things in your name? And Jesus says, depart from me. I never knew you as in a marriage union. The other aspect of the scripture I would point out are the ten virgins. Five of them keep their lamps full of oil, which we know is the Holy Spirit. And five of them do not. Five of them are slumbering or not paying attention. This is the, the, what a disciple has to do is pay attention to the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit. And, of course, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, the only thing you could do is teach from the Bible because that's all you have. But a true disciple has the Holy Spirit and the Bible to support that they're going the right way. And this is, this is what the church, the true ecclesia, the, the true elect of God, um, Toward salvation and sanctification, which is growing in sanctification, is uh, growing in Christ. And if you'll also notice, the church cares about the world. They do all these things for the world. But Jesus said to love not the world, because if a man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. No, this is a counterfeit. Church system is a counterfeit sent up by Satan to uh, distract and to trip up. The, um, I believe, the, the true elect of God, the people that have the Holy Spirit working in them. And, and although it is a very close look-alike to following the Lord Jesus Christ, you can only follow him and know him in spirit and in truth. You can't teach people into salvation, although, um, you know, although um, you may have good Bible doctrine, such as PCA does. The USA has horrible Bible doctrine. They're trying to do it independent of God, and they are they are definitely of the spirit of error. But the, like I said, the spirit of error is not an intellectual uh, error. It is an error um, of uh, the human heart of a disciple, of somebody who started with Christ. Um, they may teach all the right things out of the scripture, but it's a matter of heart. Are they following Christ? Are they being an anti-Christ? Uh, which uh, John talked first coined as um, people who started with the Lord, but but soon uh, departed from him. And an anti-Christ is somebody who wants people to follow him. I know the way. Well, if you're a true disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must follow Christ. An elder is somebody who can simply show you uh, where the pitfalls are, uh, how not to trip up, to, to point in the right direction. An elder does not replace following the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, systematic theologies, um, because they allow a lot of unbelievers, a lot of unbelievers know the right words and the, and the correct Bible doctrines, the correct things to say, but in their heart of hearts, they never have met him, or if they've met him, they started with him, and they've taken the broad road. And the broad road, dear brothers and sisters, is when you follow something other than the Lord Jesus Christ, and it can be a close look-alike, such as the church. But again, I just wanted to say today that uh, uh, my dear brother Justin Hughes um Lucas Labrador X made a mistake when he says the Presbyterian Church of America, the PCA church, as um, is uh, promoting homosexual and uh, uh, a liberal agenda, agenda. No, in fact, it is the USA church. That is the liberal Presbyterian Church of America that uh, that Justin's talking about. And I can understand why there's confusion because he is from England. But... Um, being uh, a once a part of that, um, I wanted to set the record straight. But again, doesn't matter if you're PCA, U, USA, doesn't matter what you are. The point is, will you follow the Lord in spirit and in truth? And like I said, the Lord told me, Roland, follow me. He actually 
I had a spiritual experience about that after my near-death experience, and I am hard after following the Lord. And I'll tell you, it has cost me socially, even within the Presbyterian Church of America, because I, I don't uh, partake with them anymore. They, they offered to let me uh, light the candles. They offered to let me give my testimony uh, when I died, and the Lord was next to me and that type of thing, and it, which I had tried to do, and they didn't want to hear it. Uh, and so to get me back, they... Um, in supporting them, they said, oh, we'll love you, we'll let you give your testimony, we'll let you do this, and we'll let you do that. But the whole point is the letter of the law kills, and they have a Dr. R.C. Sproul, uh, for instance, is, um, it does, uh, is the leader of the PCA church. And although he teaches very correct doctrines uh, from the Bible, um, I don't see the Holy Spirit of the Lord in the man. Uh He's saying all the right words, and he's teaching all the right things, but a true disciple can tell. And it's not emotionalism, charismatic emotionalism. It's somebody who loves the Lord Jesus Christ in their heart and will follow him uh, and um, not be involved in things of the world. And that includes the church, uh, at least for me. Um, I have to follow the Lord, and I do follow the Lord, and he has taught me these things. Um, all right, so I don't want to be redundant here, so but I just wanted to make this correction. God bless, friends. Bye.